What's up kiddos and welcome back to another Drawing with True Girl. Today we're going to be looking at the portrait by Grant Wood titled American Gothic. And this picture is super popular and one of the reasons why it's called American Gothic is because the house behind the farmer and his daughter is done in the style of Gothic cathedrals. Think like uh, the Church of Notre Dame. All right, that's a gothic cathedral. And so that little window at the top on the second floor has kind of like a gothic feel to it. And so this picture got super famous and probably one of the most famous portraits of all time, besides like maybe the Mona Lisa. But we are gonna be doing our own parody. And a parody is when you take something and you change a little bit. And so I made the farmer and his daughter be minifigures. And you could do something different like Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Daisy Duck, you know, Superman, Wonder Woman. But you can play around. I'll show you how to do minifigures. But if you want to be creative and do your own thing, I think that would be awesome. So let's get our pencils and get started. All right, so here's a picture I did in the inspiration of Grant Wood's American Gothic, and I did Adventure Time, so I have Finn and Jake. And you can do anything you want. You can draw Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. You can do SpongeBob and Patrick. Um, for this one, I am going to do some mini figures, some mini figures, Legos, because they're super cute, and you could do it in uh, you know Grant Wood's style if you wanted to, and do the farmer and his daughter. Or if you wanted to, you could make these minifigures be you know uh, Lloyd and uh, you know characters from the Lego movies. So I'm gonna start with the farmer because he's kind of in the front right here. So I'm gonna draw his head. It's kind of like this big round, kind of squarish oval. And then he's got the top because he's a bald, he's a bar bald farmer. Okay, he's got a little bit of hair like on the sides right here. And then he's got his glasses. So I'm gonna make a little circle. And if you feel like I'm going too fast, you know, you can slow down the video. All right, inside. Inside those glasses, no eyes. He's smiling. Maybe I should give him some eyebrows. Let's give him some eyebrows. It's always weird when people don't have eyebrows. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and draw his neck. I think his neck is kind of wide, a little bit wider than the top part of his head. All right, it's looking good. Now the farmer has a pitchfork, and the pitchfork is in the front. So I'm going to stop drawing the head. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to draw his pitchfork and where his hand's going to be. So his pitchfork is going like straight up. It's a parallel line, two lines going the same direction. Then right about here, it makes what looks like a salad fork. So I'm going to make kind of like a big, wide like U shape. In the middle, down, and then back up. Perfect. Now, Lego hands are kind of like this U-shape as well. So, right here on the side, I'm going to draw just a little bit of his hand and then a little bit of the other hand. You can't really see much of, of it. You know, it's like looking at a straight on. So, if you just were looking at a straight on, you just see like to the sides. Looks good. And then, I think you probably could see maybe a little bit of his arm right here that kind of goes up. And I'm going to pretend like I'm still drawing and it goes up. And then to his shoulders. All right, looks good. There, and then this arm is gonna go down. All right, so we've got like this long line that goes from his arm, his shoulders, his neck, his other shoulder, back down to his other arm. Okay, and then right about here, his like torso is going straight down right into his legs. You get the, kind of the same thing going over here. It goes like kind of straight down. And then normally many figures, their torso meets where their pants are. And then there's another little line that goes right here. And then there's like a little separation for where his legs can turn. So his leg can flip up and this one can flip up. So I like that. Looks like a little T down there. And then he's got overalls on and, and like a, a blazer jacket on. So for the blazer, I'm just gonna draw a line right here on the side, kind of like right between his necks, two vertical lines. And he's got overalls on underneath it, which is kind of a you know an interesting look, blazers and a uh, set of overalls. All right. Okay. Now let's draw his other hand, and most of his hand is kind of off the page. If you draw yours a little bit smaller, you might get to draw his hand, but you know it's just kind of like a Two lines going down, and then you draw that that C shape for his hand. Okay, so 
Okay, if it goes off the page. All right, now let's draw his daughter. Daughter, 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 daughter. Um, let's start with her hair. Let's do her hair, because her hair is kind of on top of her head. I'm going to draw this, uh, these two little lines. Okay, maybe just a little bit. And then let's meet at the top. She's got her hair parted. It's like in a, kind of like a ponytail in the back. Then we'll draw her head, just like this. Goes down and around. Okay, and then she's got no glasses, just, just normal eyes. Let's give it a little glare. So leave a little white circle right in the... And then if you want to, you can give her a couple little eyelashes. A little bit of a eyebrow, and then her smile. I like that, looks cute. Then her neck, two straight lines. Now she's kind of behind him, so you don't see a lot of her. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go draw her shoulders, and that's it. I'm not gonna worry about drawing her hands or her arms. So then let's draw, she has like a collar. So it's kind of like an upside down V, and then they go around. And she's got a little brooch right there. And then she's got this dress on, and it's kind of like a squiggly line that goes all the way around and then do another one kind of follow the same pattern goes up and down up and down and then she's got like a, a brown a brown dress on it looks nice okay now let's draw the a gothic style house that's in the background and i'm going to start by drawing a triangle right here go all the way up and down Triangle right there. And then we got our gothic style window right here. It goes up to a point, up to a point. Then, you know, let's start at the top. It's got this little cool V shape right there at the top. I'll say this, none of the windows at my house look this cool. And draw two just regular rectangles underneath. All right, now let's draw the roof. Goes on top. Now this how this part like goes down behind him. You can't really see it. So I'm gonna do something to go like a diagonal, straight, and then a flat line. And then this line right here, it kind of keeps going all the way across. All the way across. And then this one also goes straight across. And that's the roof. Now let's draw a couple, a couple trees in the background. There's one, and then we'll just draw another one kind of right there. All right, I think I'm about done. See, like the part of the house that you can't see is like right behind his head right there the wall of the the building would be right there and then there's another one kind of right here so i think all this really left that you see you can't see the bottom of the house either like maybe right here you'd see some grass or maybe you'd see her hand hmm, that's a good question i'll just color it brown call it a day color it brown all right let's do maybe there's a little bit of a window right behind him so I'm going to draw a rectangle. The rectangle. And then inside that I'm going to call I'm going to draw four little squares the best I can for the windows. I'm not going to mess with any curtains or anything. All right, this works. This works. Now I'm drawing with a Sharpie just so you guys can see it because I know sometimes when I draw with a pencil it's hard for you to see. So I would encourage you to draw with a pencil first. Because if you mess up, you can erase it. All right. There we go. I think it looks good. Now, I have markers to color it. You could color it with paint. But you want to make sure that you're taking your time. Because paint, when it's wet, it mixes. So if you color, you know, uh, these minifigures uh, yellow. And then you go and start painting uh, the sky blue. You're going to get some, uh, some bleeding. And you don't want that. 
So, I'm gonna start with yellow because it's the lightest color. I usually like to work light to dark. And I'm going to color my minifigures' faces. And like I said, if you wanted to, you could make these minifigures be Superman and Batman or Batman and Robin. That'd be really funny. So whatever you really feel comfortable doing. You could make it Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck and Daisy, Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. That'd be funny. But just make sure you, you know you have a reference. Pull up the picture of it on the internet so you know what it looks like. That always helps me draw is looking at pictures. So I did a little bit of studying before I did this and I, I drew a couple sketches of some minifigures just so I knew their body shapes and stuff. And Knowing you, you guys have probably already drawn a lot of minifigures. But I was kind of new. Never drawn a minifigure before. This is my first one. I did have Legos growing up. Loved playing with Legos, but never thought about drawing them in that style. You could do Roblox too. Roblox kind of looks like Legos. Or you could do Steve from Alex from Minecraft. That'd be cool. Alright, don't forget to do their hands. Try to get all the yellow. Alright, that's pretty good. Now, the fun thing about a Sharpie is a Sharpie is a permanent marker, and so if it gets wet, it's not gonna bleed or anything. So like if I started coloring this this blue and this blue was to touch the yellow, um, they, they did mix a little bit. But this black won't do it. And he actually has, if you guys remember, a black coat on. So you could use your black Crayola marker, but I'm just gonna use this because I, I know I don't have to worry about it bleeding at all if the yellow touches it. That's why they, when the yellow touches the black Sharpie, it doesn't like bleed or anything, which is nice. Love my black Sharpies. Notice how I'm coloring. I don't want to just scribble like that. I kind of do like a row. Just go straight across. Making sure that I'm getting all of it. I mean, if there's like a little white speck, not a big deal. Alright, I think right now I'm going to do a little bit of a time lapse. Because it's probably going to take me a hot minute to color. So, time lapse. And there we have our Grant Wood American Gothic Lego minifigs. Well kiddos, I hope you had fun doing your parody of Grant Wood's American Gothic. I think it's super fun to play around with art and be creative as much as possible. And I will see you next time on Drawing Metrobro.